Minimum Viable Product, or MVP, is defined as a version of a product with just enough features to be usable by early customers, who can then provide feedback for future product development. Let's explore this concept together. We'll look at a couple of illustrations to better understand principles behind MVP. Imagine that you are an artist who is commissioned to paint a portrait. You made a sketch, it was quick, and you even did not spend any paint yet. Your client took a look, made her comments, and with this new knowledge about your customer's preferences, you proceed to the next iteration. You added more detail, showed the picture to the client again, got her feedback, and moved on to the final iteration. But if your customer had wanted something else, you would have learned about it very early in the process and your final output would look very different. Something like this. The key here is that your iteration's output makes sense to your customers, so that they are able to provide their feedback. In software development, if something that you demonstrate is lines of code, the likelihood of getting any constructive feedback is very low. It doesn't fit MVP definition of being usable by early customers. On the other hand, if you demonstrate some fields and buttons and allow users to play with them, that's when you get early feedback that will help you to adjust your further development activities. The table of contents for a training can be classified as MVP if you show it to your colleagues and supervisors to get their thoughts. Maybe you would also provide a short description and answer some questions. But the key here is that you can get quick and constructive comments without investing too much time and money. Here is another metaphor to illustrate MVP concept. Let's say you are developing a sitting solution for your customers. First, you design a mat, let the users try it and ask for their feedback. They may actually like it and you do not need to do anything else, or you learn and keep developing your product. You give them a chair. They try it, tell you what they think, and once again, it may be exactly what they need. Otherwise, you gain some more knowledge from your customer and offer them a recliner. As you noticed, we moved from the most affordable to more pricey options. It would not be a good business strategy to charge premium for solutions that could cost very little. And don't forget that we were looking for a sit-in solution, not for a type of an armchair. And the very first iteration might have been the right thing. During the height of the space race in the 1960s, NASA scientists realized that pens could not function in space. They needed to figure out another way for the astronauts to write things down. They spent years and millions of dollars to develop a pen that could put ink to paper without gravity. But their crafty Soviet counterparts simply handed their cosmonauts pencils as it turns out, the story is not entirely true. But it provides a great example of focusing on finding the solution to a problem, rather than being fixed on the development of any particular product. This principle is utilized in developing alternatives for capital projects. Start with the simplest and the least expensive option. And, if necessary, based on the knowledge gained from your customers or business users, progress to more complex and costly solutions. There are two types of minimum viable products. First, potentially shippable product. A strategy, capital projects alternative, budget proposal. If accepted by stakeholders, can be delivered after any iteration, including the first one. An application with only a few basic features is potentially shippable because this product is actually usable. In software development, releasing usable Potentially shippable features every sprint is considered the norm. The word potential means that though the product can be released, it doesn't have to happen. Final release is a business decision. New functionalities may be allowed to accumulate via multiple sprints before the product is finally shipped. Second type of MVP, not potentially shippable product. Sketches, table of content, statistical analysis may simply be means to an end, not necessarily usable by themselves. 
but there is no clear-cut distinction between these two categories. It's all a matter of perspective and specific context. But let's make it simple. Regardless of your context and type of output, you need to answer the question. What increment are we going to develop and demonstrate to receive constructive feedback? Simple as that. It's your MVP.